Hey Exiles, how we doing? We are back again playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? I hope you're doing well. Hope you guys had a successful XP challenge. Hope you guys did really well in this event. Uh, let me know how you guys did. Let me know what armor set that you guys took away and what version of it. For me, I am super proud of my clan and I'm going to show you guys in a little minute, but I am so happy um, that the this rebuild only took a short few weeks to get done to where it was, to where it is now. We were non-existent at one point and now we are flying high. So um, the guys really put in a massive shift and I could not be any prouder for each and every one of you guys that participated in the challenge. So we're going to go ahead and check out what we won. Have a look at it, guys. Couldn't have been the more harder one or difficult one to do when we decided to go all in for our first legendary run. Um, we got there, first hit. And I'm going to go ahead and claim it. There we go. So that's all done. But we got purple legendary champion set armor. Could not get any better set of armor than that. Uh, my guys really pulled in a shift. I should have actually shown you that first, so I really apologize, but shout out to Rewilder and Sneaks and a couple of my other guys, XL 23A, I believe. Um, I believe Exile Force was another, another one in there as well. Sorry, guys, I should have shown you uh, beforehand before I claimed it, but um, between Rewilder and Sneaks did nearly 400,000 each. Not together, each. Really put in a shift. So I am so wrapped for everyone. And we only did that with 34 members. 34. Yep. Yeah. So we did a massive, massive run. So I'm super proud of everyone there. So what that means is that unfortunately we didn't get five people participating in the event. Which means is I'm going to have to let go of a few people. So... That's going to happen and we're going to have five new slots to open up and I want to get some more active people there. So we're pretty much 90% there by the looks of things. So we get those extra five people committing to the cause. It's going to make everyone's life a little bit easier. So I can't wait for the next uh, XP challenge. We're not actually going to do uh, the week that's coming up. We're going to sit this one out, regenerate, recoup our materials and we're going to get um go hard sorry on the next one afterwards so that's where we're going to leave it there but again super proud of my team for doing what they've done so really really happy um right now we are just going to take a bit of a stroll uh where are we going to go um you know what let's do the dark woods let's, i tend to go there all the time um i do need the wood got to start recouping some of that i've already done numerous amount of runs for the um stone and iron ore so i've got a bit of of an amount to play with so i can start um crafting them into blocks and iron ingots and all that sort of good stuff but yeah for now really really happy so basically by the time hopefully this video is up i should have already um removed some of those players that didn't do um any sort of participation and let's be real guys i want everyone to actually get the reward and um be rewarded for it so do the, do the hard work, get rewarded in return. And for those that didn't even actually attempt it, well, you know, you guys aren't going to stick around. So it's going to happen. I know that there's some people that just want to join up to, you know, a certain clan just because, you know, a YouTuber is actually, um, you know, adding them in kind of thing. You know, I'm not too sure what you're going to get out of that. What I want is what any other clan leader wants is for everyone to participate and benefit from the rewards. And basically, we're, we're a family here, guys. So, you know, if you guys want to join up, uh, be sure to join Dark Legion, okay? Enough about that. We're going to get into the video. Not a lot is going on, unfortunately. Um, trying to find out when and where the next update's going to happen. Unfortunately, we still don't know what's happening with the update. So, it's really, um, really disappointing, unfortunately. Um, look, I get it from a development point of view. Things do take time to get made and depending on what's being made as well at the same time is obviously going to either hinder and um, reduce, you know, time, uh, time frames and turnovers. 
there was a time where we used to have actually updates pretty much every month and it was consistent. But I do believe that once, um, you know, their other game has started to get, you know, a bit of traction, and I'm talking about Raid Shadow Legends. If you guys haven't seen that before, I did make a few videos on my channel about that. And look, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. Um, the, the structure is a little bit more difficult, um, more of turn-based RPG. But if you guys are into that sort of stuff, you probably want to sort of check it out for yourselves and, you know, and see what it's all about. Um, that's up to you guys, but I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to really go into it. But just on that, I believe my my belief really is more or less it's the, the resources that have been thrown into, you know, that game as opposed to, say, this game here. Obviously trying to get a lot more... Um, uh, you know, developer um, time on that game so, you know, updates can be pushed out quickly, things like that. So uh, I think that's where that thing is at, I guess, at the end of the day where we find that we haven't had an update really two months, to be honest. I think at the end of, the Ju uh, end of June, actually, we had the PvP update and that's pretty much where it's at. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure what's happening with it. We don't know what's going to be implemented, have no idea. So, yeah, I'm not too sure what to sort of make of it. But at this stage, we'll hopefully find out soon enough, I guess, you know, if we're sort of patient. I'm going to grab one of these today. I've been wanting to actually grab one of these. And let's get a little bit of distance away from him because I've always wanted to try this. I've never actually had the pleasure of using, using this uh, shotgun. So let's see how it works. Not bad. Does a decent amount of damage. Uh, animation time is actually quite long, but then again, it is a shotgun, so it also obviously takes time for, you know, the, the reload um, and, you know, making the shot count, I guess. All right, let's just grab some of those. Okay, one shot. Yeah, actually, take it's actually one of the longer... Um, animations i'm not too sure if i like that but you know what in certain levels uh you you probably get away with this you know you could probably get away with this pretty cleanly in the um in the dark forest which i don't think it would be too much of an issue you know at least i was able to two shot the dark wolf until you know before he even actually made it an attack on me so i think that's okay but it doesn't doesn't really work out if you're um got multiple enemies at you all at one time you wouldn't want to go up against a, a bone breaker actually so bone breaker not so much a walker yeah i wouldn't you know i wouldn't be too worried about that not at all really um uh what do you call it uh, dark undead i'd probably be a little bit worried about that golems especially stone golems you know if, if, especially if you got them multiple of them coming at you at one time you'd probably be a little bit concerned but you know things like spiders i doubt that's going to be too much of an issue really i don't see that being much of a problem but anyway that's just my opinion on it uh, we've actually made a few hits off that i just want to actually see what the um oh grab all of those durability on that will be so okay 86 i think we've done it a few times i think we're probably roughly about 100 hits before the weapon breaks which is fine it's pretty standard actually and you do at least 40 damage so, miss that. See what I mean? Like, especially if you're missing and you're not able to hit the um, hit your enemy. Plus, he's actually taking his attention to another enemy as well. Which the pathing on this has actually gotten a little bit worse the last time I checked. So, I think that's changed possibly in the other updates there. I'm not too sure if it's a bug or a glitch. But, I think... That's something to look at and something maybe the developers need to sort of um, tweak around and just sort of, you know, uh, redo that. You know, belief should be closest enemy that should get the, uh, that should be your target. But what do you do? All right, so let's see what we've got in here. All right, some pretty good loot. I actually really need the pine planks because I'm absolutely out hence why i'm actually here because you now how it is um raw necessities are the common thing these days 
And plus I've used so much in the last few days just trying to get uh, water barrels crafted up so I can fill them and then take the, um, the circle of power which has just been something that we've been doing quite a lot over the last couple of days especially during the XP event so yeah I guess that's the reason why and I've been running out of nails as well I had to sort of spend an hour the other day just running through um, skull two slash two and a half zones and just finding um, enough nails that I can possibly can so I got a, a bit of an okay amount but I know I'm going to need more so yeah it is what it is Anyway, um, I thought I'd just bring this up as well. I did ask this question last week. And, um, you know, based on feedback and from what a, a couple of people have mentioned in the comment section, I will be doing rating. I'm actually going to opt in. I'm not going to opt in on this account, though. And uh, a couple of reasons why. Obvious reasons is I don't really want to lose what I've lost initially when that first um, happened, basically. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you definitely want to see the video that I made a couple of weeks, um, well, not a couple of weeks back, but a couple of months back, to be honest. Um, and I want, want you guys to see what the whole rating thing was all about. So um, I'm going to link that in the description or in one of the little cards throughout the video. And yeah, so guys, you definitely want to sort of check that out and see, you know, if you haven't done so already or if you haven't experienced it yourself, um, you do want to check out, you know, how crazy the raids can be um, for good and for bad as well at the same time. So um, it's not, may not be everyone's cup of tea or anything like that, but, you know, I do want to get the awareness out. And I don't think raiding is all that bad. Yes, it's, you know... Um, it's a system where you stand to lose, but you also stand to gain a lot as well at the same time. And if you, I, I believe if you actually work out a system in place that you, you should be able to work out a, a way that you could not only save your items, but also um, be a beneficiary to raid as much as you possibly can. And possibly to the point where you might even come out on top. So I guess that's the risk that we need to take. Uh, in order to make PvP viable in its current form, of course. I still hold my um, my own judgment, my own reservations about it. I still believe that we should have a copy of player bases that are opted into raiding. So if you're raided, you, t you technically don't lose exactly what you've got. Or that would be one concept, which I believe it might be the more favourable concept. Um, I don't know. But then again, I think we follow along the lines of other games that have um, implemented rating, which in turn, you know, I, I guess the developers don't really want to be the same as everyone else. So with the, the strategy and the method of taking only two chests, then my second suggestion for that be would be essentially you lose what you actually lost from those two chests. So whatever those two chests were, let them be the, uh, the items that you lose. And it's obviously up to you to utilize the, the token system still. So tokens would still have a place in the game, I believe, um, even though that it may not be used as prominent. But I think that might be the, the best way of doing it. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you think? Leave, leave some suggestions as to what you think um, or how rating should be, your interpretation of it. I think what they sort of done and what they sort of tried was a good thing. Uh, granted that it didn't work out to the way that they would probably like to or have that envisioned. And this was all based on play feedback and how everyone sort of reacted to it when it all started, when they started playing and opting into rating. I think that's where they sort of need to take a little, little bit of a note about it and sort of, you know, uh, rejig a few things. But I think probably the biggest thing, if you want to make this a point of difference between other games that do rating, possibly use only, uh, or sorry, you would stand to lose only what was taken from your base, essentially. So whatever those two chests might be, I think that's all that, sh that should be done for the rating system. That's my belief, but I want to hear it from you guys. What I also do think is whatever walls have been broken down, um, you know, within your base, you shouldn't have actually lost them entirely. You know, at the very least, there should be some, you know, ability for us to um, uh, scrap up what was broken 
and recoup some of those lost materials or the broken wall itself or door whatever it might be but then again as i said i think i'll leave it to you guys to let me know what you think down in the comment section um but yeah really eager to hear what you guys think about that if you agree with me let me know if you don't let me know but also if you have your own um uh, vision of it again let me know I'm, I'm really interested to hear i want to hear what you guys think um you know even though that a lot of people are not uh, forthcoming about it, it it is what it is you know the rating system would be here to stay um again as i said it's not a bad thing i think we just have to sort of um you know take it for what it is and i think if it's a um a, th a thing where we um, have to sort of grow into it in a sense uh, I, th I think that should be you know should be something that we sort of need to look forward to so yeah um, I just want to hear what you guys think down in the comment section anyway um, obviously back at home just trying to dump everything while I'm sort of chatting to you guys at the same time um, let's just drop off some of that and I've got some planks over here charcoal I think we're going to drop this amount over into here like I said, I do need the iron bars, so that's something that I'd sort of need to craft up and let that go, which is good. And you know what? That can go straight into here. As you can see, I need more uh, pine planks, so that's where I'm at with things there. Um, okay, so these guys can go into here. I've already filled up that. I'm going to have to start throwing stuff into here, so... Yeah, I'm sort of running out of room, running out of space, as you kind of do. But I think that's enough. We'll race back. I probably won't bore you guys with uh, me just, uh, you know, uh, chopping up the forest. I think you guys know by now how that sort of works. So, yeah. But, yeah, I think that, you know, quick little video today. Just wanted to sort of point out a few things. Um, interested to know what you guys think again, as I said, all about the whole PvP thing. Personally, I think I'm going to start doing it. I've just um, rebooted my other phone and I'm going to jump into my other account. I might have to start some, uh, spending some time in there just to get it back up to speed. And then when I get it to a point where I feel that I'm ready, um, I'm going to sort of, you know, enter PvP. But I'm not going to be um, too full on with my base, I think. I might do some basic setups with, the, uh, with my base. You know, maybe show off some certain base designs. Um, what you guys could, you know, benefit from. Um, if you guys have a base design in mind, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll be interested to know because at the moment I really don't have any sort of base design to speak of right now with my second account. So I think that's something that we're going to have to sort of work on together and sort of look into. But that's what I think that I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a fun account. It's not going to be something that I'm going to be really serious about. I just want to do raids and show you guys as well. And plus there's all also more content onto the channel. So I think that might be a good thing. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about it. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it here for today. So I always appreciate you guys stopping by, checking in, seeing how, how I'm doing at the moment and hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Anyway, take it easy and check out you next time guys. Bye.